I'm Edward Wagner. I'm the director of new technology for Lu Gong, and I am the inventor of this new machine behind me, the vertical lift wheel loader. This is the first and only vertical lift wheel loader in the world. So what does vertical lift mean? Vertical lift, a, a, a conventional radio lift machine, has no elbow, so it lifts in an arc. So when you're directly out in front of yourself, you're not stable and you're not strong. And as you reach up, if you want to go higher, you go further back. With the vertical lift, we've put an elbow in the arm. That allows us to lift straight up. So here in this position, we're more stable and more strong, and we can put the dump height and dump reach wherever we want. So the net effect is, for the same size operating weight, we can put on a 30% bigger bucket. We lift it two feet higher in the air and we reach one foot further forward. So to show you the arm a little bit, over here, this is the shoulder pin. So this is exactly like the shoulder as we were talking. Up there between the gray link and the yellow arm is the elbow. That's what's new. And then of course, at the bucket is the wrist pin. Another unique thing about this machine is this is a purely mechanical self-level. So this is a Z-Bar machine. The bucket behaves exactly like a normal Z-Bar machine, but we've managed that with a mechanical linkage driving the bucket cylinder. No vertical lift skid steer loaders level the bucket mechanically. They all use electronic self-level or single direction hydraulic self-level. We've done it mechanically. Our customers like that. That's more simple. So for this wheel loader, we carry over systems and part numbers from our current radial machines. So the engine, the drive line, the cab, the cooling system, all those parts are exactly the same as our radial lift machines. That means they are field proven, tested, and good to go and the field is already populated with service parts. Our wheel loaders have a Cummins engine, ZF driveline, and Rexroth hydraulics, so all top shelf components. So, at the end of the day, for a given size machine, we lift that 30% bigger bucket, we go two feet higher in the air, and reach one foot further forward.